In this video, I will go over what the anterior and posterior columns of the acetabulum are. Understanding this fundamental concept will aid in your understanding of acetabular fracture patterns, your interpretation of radiographs, and much more come rotations. I know it wasn't something I started to wrap my head around until I was further on in medical school, so I hope this video can help you get there a bit quicker. To start, we must first understand where the idea of columns originates. Dr. Letronel and Dr. Jude, in their 1993 book titled Fracture of the Acetabulum, described the hemipelvis as an inverted Y with a C shape that represented the articular surface of the acetabulum in between the limbs of the Y, as you can see here. He talked about how the transmission of one's weight was transferred between the lower extremities and the spine through the anterior and posterior limbs of the Y. These are known as the anterior and posterior columns. You can see how the columns are laid out on the hemipelvis here. I want you to appreciate how the anterior and posterior columns meet at the supraacetabular region and how some will refer to the shape as the Greek letter lambda with the long portion of the letter representing the anterior column. The anterior column runs from the superior pubic ramus into the iliac wing, while the posterior column runs from the ischiopubic ramus through the ischium and toward the ilium. X-ray views that you will want to be familiar with can be seen here. These are colloquially referred to as the Jude views. The Jude views are the two oblique views of the pelvis, including the iliac oblique and the obturator oblique views. Here you can see the iliac oblique view. For this view, you can best appreciate the posterior column and the anterior acetabular wall. Next is the obturator oblique view, which gives you a better view of the anterior column and the posterior acetabular wall. You can see these outlined here. And lastly, before I end this concise video, I just wanted to give you perhaps a quick way to remember the key association between the Jude views and which column is best appreciated. Obviously, as you progress through your career and training, you won't need a quick way to recall this association, but I know that when you are just starting out, acronyms or any memory guide can make all the difference. So I just think of AO and PI. These represent that you can appreciate the anterior column best on the obturator view and the posterior column on the iliac oblique view. Then beyond this, you know that the walls are opposite. So if I asked you, what can you best appreciate on the obturator oblique view? You would think AO, so anterior column and posterior wall. Alrighty, that is all for this short video. See you all in the next one.